Gideon's faith had been strengthened, the Lord charged him to tear down his father's altar to Baal, the false god of the Midianites. Gideon obeyed God at the risk of his life, but this stirred up all the Midianites, Amalekites, and children of the east to gather together for battle. At this point, the spirit of Jehovah clothed Gideon, empowering him to blow the trumpet, calling the people of Manasseh, Asher, Zebulun, and Naphtali to come together for the battle. 32,000 of them responded to Gideon's call. This next song tells about what happened next. The Lord spoke unto Gideon before war with the Midianites. Gideon had too many men to take with him to fight. Israel should never boast that they could win on their own. Those who are fearful or afraid should leave from there and go home. 22,000 would return, only 10,000 remain. But the Lord said to Gideon, still too many have stayed. He took them down to the water where God could give them a test. Most didn't know the way to drink, so only 300 were left. Gideon now had his army to battle the Midianites. Twas true that he'd save Israel, but not by their own might. Now he needed encouragement because of how everything seemed. So God sent him down into the camp to hear what a Midian dreamed. Gideon's army was like a barley loaf. Gideon's army was like a barley loaf. And they rolled down the hill into the enemy. And so the Lord did win a mighty victory, a mighty victory. Gideon said, put a pitcher or your torch. Gideon said, put a trumpet in your hand. And when I give the word, you'll blow your trumpets loud. And break your pitcher so that your light shines all around. Your light shines all around. The enemy soldiers cried out and they fled. Because the shouts of praise and light came overhead. So with Gideon we see the Lord's special way to fight. It's not with sticks or stones, but with your praise and light. But with your praise and light. But with your 